I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography and welcome to my brand new channel and yeah this channel is brand new and if you really like this video kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and drop your feedback in the comment section so in this video today I'm going to show you the way I color grade my portraits in Photoshop so as you can see this photo has already been edited and it really looks amazing right now so i want to show you how i color grade my portraits in an easy way in photoshop so first of all i start by duplicating my background layer you can hold down here and you duplicate it so i'm going to use my selective color and the gradient maps so i'll start by using my selective colors so I prefer pulling my sands down because I want that reddish effect in the photos. Then I'll pull up my yellows because I like it popping. So I'll reduce my magenta somehow. So I'll go to my yellows still. I will pull up my sands in the yellows and add in a little magenta like plus two I'll also pull in my blacks to around nine so here we are right now then I'll go to my blue since we have some blue color here I will pull in my blacks as you can see you can see the difference is making so I'll pull in my blues then I'll put in a little cyan plus three so after here I'll close this panel and I'll use my gradient maps I prefer so if you don't have uh, all these in the gradient map section you just come and click here then click on photographic toning then when you click on append it will add everything here as you can see I have everything right now so now I prefer using my gold gold one it's one of my favorite so I click OK then I come here on the blending options as you can see I'll close that blending options and I select soft light so as you can see my photo is too orange too yellow so what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the opacity to that of my liking. As you can see, the photo looks awesome already. So I can come back and add in my gradient map still. And this time I'm going to add in this. I'll add in the solid one. So I come still I use soft light because it really works well on these portraits but since my photo is too orange right now I'm going to, re to reduce it the opacity to around 4 then after that I'm going to come to my my levels I want to darken it somehow so I put in uh, five or I'll just put in three will do for this photo as you can see the photo looks amazing so far so since my photo looks kind of yellowish I'm going to add in a bluish effect to this photo so I come photo filter then I select cooling 82 so I'm going to reduce it to around yeah seven percent as you guys can see it already looks amazing but still I want to add in some little magentas in this photo I'm going to come back and you can tweak it in any way you really want so I'll, I'll go and play around with my reds now I'll add in some little magenta in this photo then I'll with again the science as you can see I 
put it to around plus 40 then the yellows are adding plus around 7 or 8 yeah as you can see then I'll come to my yellow still uh, and pull as you can see this thing is all about trying and yeah you just have to try and get what works for you so you shouldn't cram these figures anyhow so I pull in my science to around 40s yeah so I'll add in a little magenta and I think we have lost what we started with so I'm going to come back to my gradient map I when you click there make sure the mask is selected you can increase on the opacity of our gradient so I'll pull it to around 11% so this is where we are so this is an easel of how to color grade your portraits in Photoshop and if you have learned something from this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and drop your comment and don't forget to subscribe to this channel let me show you the before and after of everything so I'm going to put all these into a group by pressing selecting them and clicking on ctrl G to group everything so this is the before color grading and this is the after you can see the magic before after before color grading and this is the after so thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notifications bell so that you can keep updated every time we upload a new video on this channel so and don't forget to leave a comment below if this video has been helpful to you and if you have learned something make sure you drop the comment to motivate us to keep on creating more videos for this channel emronix thank you for watching till next time